Okay, today I'm going to continue to discuss the rate of change topic. When I use the word continuous, I hope before you watch this video, you already watched my previous video, which is the introduction of rate of change. Right, so yeah, if you haven't watched that, please please go go to search that video out to watch it first before you go to this video because this one I, I, I going to skip some the, the introduction. In this in this video I'm going to emphasize more on the change rule. Alright, so I will say this again about change rule. So I hope you see the word change rule before. Okay, change rule is 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 a very important rule for rate of change. So yeah the formula is basically like this. If you want to find dy dt Okay, so normally what I will do is I will write equal and I will draw two lines. These two lines are fraction, obviously. This is multiple, always multiple. And if this one is dy, I will write dy on the top. If this is dt, I will write dt at the bottom. And then the, the middle one means on between here, I will fill in something in the same means. In this case, I will do dx and dx. Of course, if you understand why you have the dt, dy, and dx, you have to go to watch the previous video. But I can just briefly explain. dt means you are related to the time. You will see the word rate. Okay, so that means something like centimeter per second or centimeter square per second. So it's something to do with rate. Okay, so in this in this video, I'm going to provide two to three examples. Yeah, and then you, you will need to use the change rule. And X and Y is, I say, it can be any variable, can be volume, can be radius, can be area, can be any other thing. All right, so yeah, before wasting your time, okay, so let's begin with uh, some, some example. Okay, so let me erase the change rule first. Okay, so, okay, so let's say, Let's say we have a spherical balloons, right? So I call it spherical balloons because later I can actually use the fear formula. So yeah, spherical. Okay, so this is spherical balloons. So let's say it's the the wind is let out about three hundred centimeter cube per second. All right, and and the question question one. Uh, the question one to know yeah what is the rate of change of the radius you have an r right so yeah the question one to know the rate of change of radius rate of change of radius okay okay so yeah be, before we start to do you you need to have some common sense right so if if the a is let out so you can imagine the balloon actually will become smaller and smaller so if the if the balloon becomes smaller, so the radius actually will decrease. Okay, so so I can say rate of change of radius, or or I can say, I can say something like, uh, yeah, find the rate of change in radius. Uh, yeah, find the rate of change in the radius is decreasing. Okay, so so it's some it's, it's something like yeah, you have to know the radius actually will decrease, but then. Right now you have not enough information because you do not know when actually they start to cal calculate. Mean you do not have the instant radius. So normally the question will give you. Alright. Mean at mean at that moment, at the instant, what is the radius R? So let's say in this case I give you the instant mean okay, the instant R is four four cm. Okay, then you can find the rate of change of radius. Or you can find the rate of change of the radius is decreasing all right so okay so first thing is when you see rate of change of the radius you have to understand this is dr dt then obviously you have to form the change rule i will draw a line draw a line this is multiple this is dr this is dt all right in this case because this is spherical and then you will see cm cube per second you know this is something to do with volume Right, right, you know A actually is the volume. So I know 300 centimeter cube per second. This one actually is dV dt. Right, so you know that actually you have the dV. So I use dV in this case. But then you do not have the dr dV or dV dr. So therefore, the question will give you something like what the spherical. So yes, so what is the formula for sphere? 
So the volume for field will be 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Right, I hope you remember this formula. So in order to get the r dv, you can either make r as a subject, then you differentiate. But in this case, I will just differentiate and then I flip over. So therefore, I straight away differentiate. This is dv dr. So I move the 3 in front and then minus 1. So this one will become 4 pi r square. Alright, so, okay, i almost done. So I need to know what is my values of r. So therefore, the question actually gives you at the instant, mean, yeah, at the mo moment, the r actually is 4 cm. I'm going to substitute in here. So this is 4 pi, 4 square. So this is 16, 16 will be 64 pi. Okay, 64 pi is dv dr. But then, because from your equation, you know that actually you will need dr dv. So I will flip over, become dr dv. So this one, this is 64 over 1, right? So it will become 1 over 64 pi. The pi is at the bottom also. Okay, then you will easily get your dr dv. Alright, so yeah, then I, I know my dr dv. Then I can actually, I can actually, sub, uh, I can actually substitute in. Okay, so I will call my dr dv is 1 over 64 pi. And I have my dvdt. My dvdt actually is 300. Yeah, you can write the unit cm cubed per second. Then you want to know what is the rate of change of radius, then you just multiple. So I'm going to use a 300 divided by 64 pi. Then I know actually, each second actually it will decrease 1.492 centimeter per second. So this is rate of change of my radius. So I can call it the RDT. Okay, so this is how, how we solve this kind of question. Because a lot of students when they see it's, uh, something like dr dv they have no idea how to do or or even some students will try to make r as a subject and differentiate but it will be very hard because when you make r as a subject over the other side you have q root q root then is power one over three then your whole differentiation will become very hard so i will recommend this method it's very easy I mean after you got the final answer then only you flip over so it will become one over something all right but not all the time the question will will look so uh this easy so I will give you another example. Okay, all the information is the same, but then in this case, the question is not. Uh, okay, in in this case, the question is not give giving you the. It's not giving you the radius. The question give you the volume. The question give you the instant volume. Okay, the question say the instant volume is thirty six pi. And then the same thing, the question asks you to find the rate of change of the radius. So you can use everything, except after you do the differentiation, after you do the differentiation, you do not have the values of R. So, yeah, you so you do not have the... Oops, so uh, I'm going to erase over here. Okay, I erase all this information because it's going to be a little bit different. So, but you have the volume. So the purpose of giving you the volume here is to help you to find the radius because not all the time the question will, can, will, straight, will straight away give you the radius then you can easily substitute in. So what I will do is if I have the volume, I actually will substitute into the volume formula. So I have my volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. If my volume is 36 pi, then I will get 4 over 3 pi r cubed. I just substitute in pi and pi and simplify. So this is 36 multiple 3 over 4 equals to r cubed. So my r equals to q root of this one will be 9, yes, 27. Be q root of 27, my r equals to 3. So means you have to find the r first, then only you can substitute into the dvdr. So if my r equals to 3, so I'm going to substitute this 4 pi, this 3 square, which is 9. So Okay, so my dvdr is just nice. It's thirty six pi also. Yeah, it's same with my volume. I think it's coincident. So you cannot assume when it give you a volume, your dvdr is always the volume. Alright, so so what I will do is after I got my D dvdr, I need to find my dr dv. I do the same thing, become one over thirty six pi. Mean I just flip over, become one over. So I go and substitute one over thirty six pi here, and my dvdt is still the same. It's three hundred. Then I will use the calculator to solve this one out. I use 300 divided by 36 pi. 
So yeah, I will get 2.653 centimeter per second. Means in every second, you, you actually see the radius is decreasing. It keep on decreasing, becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And then the rate of decreasing basically is 2.653 centimeter. Mean every second the radius actually will decrease 2.653 centimeter. Alright, I hope this balloon case actually can give you some insight about the rate of change. So I I will actually make another I mean, okay, I, I will actually give you another question. Okay, so yeah, but I will need to erase all this. So just give me a moment. Erase all this. Okay. So okay, so I go to another question. Okay, so let's say you have the matter cube. Okay, let's say you have a. I'm going to call this one matter cube. And then I I will actually add a heat on it. So I actually add a heat. So mean, uh, I do not know how to draw the fire. Uh, anyway, I will add a heat on it. So. When I add a heat on it, you, you can actually understand the length actually will become longer, right? This is, let's say this is a length. The length actually will expand. So they will become longer and longer. They will continue to expand. Okay, if I add a heat uh, on, uh, onto the matter. Alright, so, so yeah, so this is one of the famous cases, no matter in SBM MF or IGCAC MF. So, before I start to do, of course you have to understand what's the meaning for cube. Cube means all the three will be the same length, means the length, the width, the height. So I'm going to call in this case, maybe I call it L. Right, so whenever I see the cube, and then I will try to read the uh, question, see what kind of information the question actually gives you. Okay, so so the Okay, so the question, if the question gives you something related to the volume, then I will form a formula related to the volume. If the question gives you the rate of change is something related to area, then I will form the for formula for area. So for cube itself, this is just some extra information. The volume is very easy. It's L power of 3. L multiple L multiple L. If I want to find the area of the cube, let's say you call this one L. So each surface area is L square, isn't it? So you have six surface area, so it's six L square. Okay, this is something you you must you must always remember. Okay, no matter for volume or for area of the cube. All right. So. Okay. So okay. So let's let's say, I I give you more information because it's not info enough information to do this. So I say when the when I when I add the heats to the cube. Okay. So it's actually the volume. The volume expand at the rate maybe like 0 0.0012 centimeter per second. Centimeter cube per second. Means the volume actually increase. Or I or I can call it rate of change of the volume. Or yeah, I or I can say is yeah, I can say is yeah, the volume increase at the rate. The volume increasing at the rate. 0, 0 0.0012 um yeah maybe i make the value slightly bigger 0 0.012 centimeter cube per second all right so from here because the question say the volume is increased at the rates so you have to understand what is, what is this meaning what's the meaning of this this one actually mean dv dt because first i say whenever you see the word rate mean you have to write the dt here Okay, whenever you see the volume, it's just dv. So it's dv dt is 0 0.012 centimeter cube per second. Alright, so over here, the question actually gives you to do with something with volume. So I will use the first formula. I won't use the formula for area because in this case, it's not necessary. Yeah, unless, uh, unless later I change the question. Alright, and okay, so now you have this one. And then the question asks you to find what's the rate of change of the length. Yeah, or or the question the question can say the the length is increased. Uh, find the rate of change of the length is increasing. So what what you can do is before you start to do, you have to know what is the instant rate first. 
I mean, what is the instant length? So let's say I give an instant length, maybe, uh, maybe four centimeter. I mean, at that moment, at that instant, the length is actually four centimeter. So what I will do over here is, I have V equals to L cube. Then I will dv dl. I mean, I differentiate this one become three L square, and then at the instant the length is four centimeter square. So I know this one basically is, is equals to 16, 48. Yeah, this is 48 centimeter. Uh, no, this, this one, you do not need to write any unit for this one. So since the question asked me to find the rate of change of L, so I will need to find the LDT. Then I will need to form the change rule. So for the change rule itself, I will actually maybe like this is DL, this is DT. And then, yeah, here is left V. So this is dv, dv. And you will find out 48 itself actually is dv, dl. If I want the dl, dv, it will become 1 over 48. Because I, I will need to flip over this one. So dl, dv will become 1 over 48. And then this one is the uh, dv, dt. We already have is 0 0.012 centimeter cube per second. If you want to write the unit, then you just solve this one. So 0 0.012 divided by 48. Then you will get the answer. Yeah, this is something like 0 0.00025. Okay, so this is length, so it's cm per second. Alright, this is how we solve this kind of question. So you have to un understand what kind of information you have. So yes, I just changed the question a little bit just to make sure you can understand. Okay. Okay, let's let me change the question a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to delete this, and I delete the volume also. Okay, so in this case, okay, let's say. I say the area, is expand, I mean the ADT, the the air the area of the cube is expand. Uh, maybe I give you, ten centimeter square per second and then I want to find the same thing what is the rate of change of the length what is the rate of change of the length of the cube or, or sometimes they, they're not calling length they call it h okay what is the rate of change of the h okay or, or, or they can say what is the rate of change of the when the rate when the h is increasing so first thing over here is we have to write the change rule so yeah I will write dl here we write dt but in this case because the question gives you something to do is the area is expanding so yes yeah, so over here i will use da and da but just now actually i use dv and dv so therefore in this case i'm not going to use the volume formula i will use the the area formula so yeah so what i will do is i will say area equals to 6l square so da dl will become 12l and I have the L at the instant is 4 cm. So I multiple 4 is 48. So what I will do is, because I want DL, DA, I want DL, DA. So what I will do is, I will actually flip over. I want DL, DA. So I will flip over, become 1 over 48. Yeah, then I will do the rest at the same thing. This is, so this is 1 over 48 multiple 10. So I will just use 10 divided by 48. Then I actually will get 0 0.208 uh, centimeter per second. Means if the area of the uh, cube is expanding 10 centimeters square per second, my length actually will increase 0 0.2 centimeter per second. All right. So if you still do not understand about why the area equal to 6 L square, you just imagine one air one area of uh, uh, one square area is L square. For the cube itself, basically you have six surface area. Each surface area is one L square. So you have six surface area, therefore I will get six L square. Because just now I do not explain about this one. I assume you understand. Alright, so anyways, yeah. I hope these two questions actually give you better understanding about uh, the rate of change. Yeah, I, if I have time, I will post more questions about rate of change. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video.